the way, Sun Sam by four, by three. Sun Sam hanging on. Sun Sam wins the second heat, 155 and two, a new season's mark. Scarlet Skipper finished two, a photo for three. There is your new stake record, 155-2. Right back, Speedball has him at this point. Jazz Cosmos trying to come back and he's doing it. Now they're almost head and head again. They are! Jazz Cosmos game on the inside. Speedball game on the outside. To the wire, Jazz Cosmos wins it. Waits behind her and behind the door third is Sunny and Fair as they race to the wire. Three diamonds, final eighth mile. A door now makes a move to the outside. Here comes a door. Three diamonds under drive, a door trying. Three diamonds holding tight by two lengths. Three diamonds to the wire, a door in pursuit, sunny and fair third. Three diamonds at the wire in 53 one fifth. That's a world record. Custom TV Yankee rolls to the front. On the outside, power seat moves up. Krista Starr drops back. TV Yankee in complete command in the lane. On the outside power seat, on the inside Krista Starr coming on extreme outside is Coleman Lobel. Trotting to the wire, TV Yankee could be a big one. He's home in, world record! 156, 156, the fastest mile ever trotted by a two-year-old in a win in a time trial. That's it, the world record by one full second eighth mile the bonefish filly under urging now by Hulk and Walner three quarters 25 and two she needs to beat 56 and two and she's going to do it Winky's Gill trots to the wire and now she's tearing but still Winky's Gill hits the wire for Hulk and Walner in 155 to fifths and that's it the new world champion three-year-old trotting filly breaking the old mark by a full trying to move up second practice drifting across the racetrack trotting to what might be a world record it should be a track record practice off three quarters 124 by five legs practice home in 53 and two there it is there it is that's the fastest ever by a trotter here comes Archie Alberhurst on the inside. Albert Albert holds strong. Albert Albert by two. Archie Alberhurst trying. Albert Albert wins it. 52 and one. Totally ruthless on the outside. Rocky Bogart takes command. Three deep barefoot and over. Extreme outside. Just a ticket coming on. Rocky Bogart on top. On the inside. Totally ruthless. Tiring. He's five. Racing with the lead. Rocky Bogart has him by four. It's going to be a battle for second. Rocky Bogart. For the uh, age pacers, a world record in a race is 149.3, and Call for Rain is in the final eighth of his mile, and he is still strong. Call for Rain, a bull in the stretch, and Call for Rain, powerful. Last 16th, he drives to the wire. This could be the record, and he is at the wire. 49.3, Call for Rain has tied the world mark for a race. He has established a world Approaching the final eighth mile, racing second, trying to close ground, do run, run, bluegrass, third, Walton's romance, four on the outside, Armbro Harrier, LD's Trash on top, Mike Lachance, Mike Lachance and LD's Trash, final 16th, do run, run, bluegrass, second, at the wire, LD's Trash is home in 52 flat, world record. Four, and Brooke at the top of the lane has the world record in reach, Brooke Nichols daughter of Bruce and Joanne Nichols from Lighthouse Point, Florida in the final eight. And this trotter, with seven eighths of the mile complete, appears to be about to grab the world mark. Brooke Nichols and preferential trot to the wire. And they're going to be home in world record time. There it is, 58 and two. All time record, ladies and gentlemen, one. 19. Top of the stretch. Cam Best turns for home. Off three quarters, 119. Can he hang on? He's in the final eighth. He's driving to the wire. O'Donnell urging him on. Three quarters, 119. You may see it today. Cam Best strong in the lane. Cam Best is at the wire. We'll have it for you in a moment. There he is, folks. He may be the world champion. 119. And folks, 146. One fifth. Cam Best! Come on down, folks, get a picture. We're going to suspend the rules for a moment. If you want to, get down on the racetrack and look at this horse. We ask you to be orderly and moving up and down and through the aisle. 
And we ask you to take a brief look, please. Pole on the inside, Immortality on the outside, moving up as they race this way. It's Towner's Image. Go lightly in contention. She's third. Lady Pacifist along the rail, fourth. Immortality has the jump as they race this way. She's on top and cruising now. Immortality is going to win this heat for Campbell under no stress by a length and a half. Towner's Image second. Home third. Amazing display of ability by Immortality. Wire to wire. Battle well behind them. Jenna's Beach Boy, only his third money start since June 9th. He's by himself across the tunnel, down to the last strides. Faye is on the whip. Hard on the whip goes Faye. Here's the line. He's home at 48 and 4. New world record for a three year old pacer in a race and the fastest race mile in Red Mile history. He's in the final going, and he has the field behind him. The battle behind the leader, that's self-possessed. And on the outside, and Joey Levesque closes ground as they trot through the lane to the wire. Racing this way, and Joey Levesque trotting very fast. But the leader self-possessed to the wire. Self-possessed, and Joey Levesque self-possessed has won the Kentucky Futurity. He's home in 52-3. and three. That ties the all-time record. Well ahead of the world mark, and as he turns for home, and looks at the long stretch of the Red Mile, also looking at the fastest mile in the history of trotting. Campbell and Pine Chip trot to the wire. They're in the final eighth. And as they race to the wire, they appear to have the world record in hand, prompted by a pair as they reach the wire. Pine Chip out the wire for Campbell. And he is going to trot home in 151 flat. That's it, the fastest mile ever in trotting. Pine Chip, 151. Three for three quarters with a sub 55 mile in reach. Hit parade in the lane, final eighth mile in pursuit. Rosie Anover, third on the outside, Ms. Van Camp. Hit parade and Cat Manzi hit the wire in 53 4. World record by a second. In the lane, and they're coming from everywhere. Five across the racetrack. Inside Sven Hanover. Between them, Bond Sport. Here comes Workaholic. And he's trotting a storm on the outside. Workaholic on the outside, getting to the front. On the inside, Sven Hanover tries to fight him off. Closing also, Ron V. Hanover. It's going to be Workaholic home for Bernie Lindstedt at 157-1. He has won the first leg of the Breeders' Crown Series.